Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to Morning Tales for 28th August 2019. Now, all these things available here on this slide are not going to be discussed through questions, uh, but I expect you to have some idea about these and if not, you can go and search for these because these are additional news which have been uh, forming a part of news nowadays. Number one is Ministry of Finance has decided to withdraw the higher surcharges which were introduced in the budget. A lot of uh, changes have been either scrapped or have been taken back by the Ministry of Finance after the union budget and I think it's very important and questions are going to be framed from this area in the examination as to which all, which all cases or which all uh, decisions were uh, taken back by the Ministry of Finance after the union budget. The second is uh, angel tax provisions will not be applicable on startups. We have already talked about angel tax in the finance current affairs, so I will not be repeating here today. Government will form a new scrappage policy to ensure scrapping of old vehicles. Now, the primary purpose of this is to boost the demand of automobile in the automobile industry. But I don't believe steps like these are going to be very effective because the psychological uh, uh, makeup of the consumers as well as the consumption income available for consumption is going down and the psychological makeup is negative with respect to global and domestic economy. All pending GST refunds to MSME till date shall be paid within 30 days and 60 day timeline has been set forth to sort future refund matters. Now what happens in GST is uh, the liability to make sure that GST payment is made is on both the buyer as well as the seller. Under VAT, it was only on the seller. So if let's say I'm a buyer, I'm buying something, I'm paying some amount as GST to the seller in the hope that the seller is going to pay it to the government. If the seller does not pay it to the government, the liability uh, uh, lies on the seller and not the buyer. Let's say you go to the market, you buy a biscuit of parlay G and uh, out of 5 rupees, 1 rupee is GST and 4 rupee is the MRP, exclusive of taxes. Let's say you pay 5 rupees. Now, if the seller who is in this case Parleji does not pay this 1 rupee to the uh, government, then the liability lies on the seller and not on you. But that, that does not happen in GST. The liability lies on everybody who is a part of the chain in GST. And that is why refunds become a problem. And I believe this is not a good step and technically very cumbersome, which needs to be taken back. So in case you have an interview recently with the NABARD or RBI coming up, RBI will be uh, uh, taking some time because we have the uh, exam also pending. But NABARD interviews and SBI PO interviews are also going on. So I think it's a very good question as well as a very good explanation in case GST as a topic comes up. So let us start with questions for today. The first question is what is the amount of total surplus funds being transferred by government to government by RBI on the recommendation of Economic Capital Framework Committee. I have uh, created a detailed video on Economic Capital Framework Committee and its recommendations. I have broken down the entire uh, recommendation which is very technical in nature and therefore I'm not going to explain a lot in this video. I would request you to go and watch that video once it is published. The answer to this question is C rupees 1.76 trillion. When was Bimal Jalan committee formed on economic capital framework? The answer to this is B 2018. Again, a question on economic capital framework, a very, very important area indeed expected to ask at least two to three questions in the examination from this area. With which country has India signed an MOU to develop and operate world's first space-based automatic identification system? Now, India has signed an MOU with France and the purpose of this is to track merchant ships on a real-time basis so that uh, the countries can know where the ships are uh, presently and uh, also know about the origin of oil spills which have become uh, very prominent nowadays and secondly also to make sure that the uh, ships don't go missing and pirates are not uh, taking advantage of the area around Africa for hacking these ships. Okay, so the answer to this question is D, France. Which city is the new proposed capital of Indonesia? So this is the 
uh, map of Indonesia I think uh, it would be enough to explain if you don't know where exactly Indonesia is you have Malaysia here then Singapore at the bottom and then everything below that is Indonesia the older capital of Indonesia is Jakarta and the new capital is or the new proposed capital is E Borneo Islands which country will host the IAAF Diamond League for 2020 and 2021? So IAAF is an annual series of elite track and field athletic competitions which started in 2010, 2010. Before that, it used to be called IAAF Golden League and it had started in 1998. So another set of questions out there for you guys. A lot of countries take part in these competitions. So it's not limited to uh, limited to a specific area in 2020 and 2021 Zurich is going to be the host of uh, IAF Diamond League competitions which decade is known as international decade of ocean science for sustainable development so United Nations have decades uh, being declared very regularly and they've declared that 2021 to 2030 that is option A is going to be called as UN decade of ocean science for sustainable development in which field is Grammy award given? I believe the easiest question, but these kind of static questions are often asked in the examination. The answer is D, music. Where is the headquarters of NABARD situated? This question because NABARD interviews are going on and uh, taking those interviews on a regular basis, although I'm not able to take all the interviews, but I ensure that I try to give at least uh, 45 to one, 45 minutes to one hour to every person, every student, so that uh, the students who come to me for interviews are uh, satisfied with the feedback although uh, I cannot cater to the needs of everybody that's uh, a limitation that I have so headquarters of NABARD A Mumbai a lot of questions that I have for NABARD and I shall be releasing the uh, PDF of, of the entire question list very soon to all the students Soma Sila Dam where is it now Soma Sila Dam has been in news because uh, due to uh, flow of river, uh, flow of uh, water into this uh, dam which is on Penna river the water levels in Nello district have gone up which is one of the uh, most affected areas of drought in Andhra Pradesh so the answer is D Andhra Pradesh capital of Ukraine let me show you a, a diagram or uh, the map of Ukraine so that you understand where exactly is it so this here is Ukraine. If you go from India, you have Pakistan beside India, then you have Afghanistan, then you have the Caspian Sea and this entire region here is Russia in case you're wondering a very big region, Moscow here, but this entire region is Russia. And then beside Russia, you have Ukraine with a long boundary line with Russia. So the capital of Ukraine is Kyiv, B Kyiv. Changtak Wildlife Sanctuary, where is it located? Uh, it has been in news, not directly, but the entire Jammu and Kashmir region and Ladakh region has been in news. Therefore, questions like this can be framed. The answer is A, Ladakh. So this is all for Morning Tales for 28th August. I hope you liked it. I'm keeping it short because I'm not very well, but I do not want to put a break on uh, Morning Tales because they are very important. Also, do not forget to watch the video on... Uh, economic capital framework which will be out very soon and uh, if you like the video share your feedback through comments on this video as well as on the video on economic capital framework all the very best for your examinations keep studying take care